How's it going, everybody? Poser Mobile here, bringing you an absolute banger list of great games that are on sale right now in the PlayStation Store for the Summer Game Fest sale that goes until June 19th, so for the next two weeks. All right, so I've already covered the Platinum-centric games in this sale, so now I'm going to cover games that you'll get and actually enjoy for more than just the Platinum value, and all of these are at the lowest price they've ever been right now. Starting off, we've got the Kingdom Hearts All-in-One package for 40 bucks. This includes HD 1.5 and 2.5 Remix, HD 2.8 Final Chapter Prologue, and Kingdom Hearts 3. I've got the Platinum in the third game. It's about a 4 on difficulty, so it's not that bad, and around 60 hours to finish. The other two games are longer and more difficult, and I can't begin to describe the storyline, but they're at least fun, and it's cool seeing some of the worlds from Disney movies I grew up watching, plus all the Final Fantasy characters. Next up, we've got the Yakuza Remastered Collection for just 10 bucks. This includes Yakuza 3, 4, and 5, all remastered to 1080p and 60fps. They're not nearly as polished as the Kiwami games. These are just juiced versions of the old PS3 games, so they use the old engine. I played all of these back in the day, and they're definitely fun once you figure out how to cheese the AI a bit to get around how block-heavy enemies are. Trophy-wise, they're brutal. These all require you to finish the completion list, so expect 100 hours and like an 8 out of 10 for each game. Next up, we've got The Walking Dead, the Telltale Definitive Series for 15 bucks. This includes all four seasons, Michonne, and the 400 Days DLC. They've put all the trophies under one banner for this one, so you're only looking at one Platinum's worth. That's a bummer, but if you've played through some of this on PS3 or Vita, this is a nice remastered touch. Trophy-wise, it's a Telltale game, so probably just a 1 out of 10 for difficulty and maybe 40-ish, maybe 50 hours to finish all of it. Hey, while I've got you here, why don't you click that subscribe button, huh? Seriously, the 92% of you watching this need to click that button so anytime you need a trophy guide or don't want to sift through the thousands of games on sale, you can just let me do it for you and listen to me tell you what to do instead. Or, if you've already subscribed, hit that join button and pick the tier to join my Discord. Then I can complain to you directly about whatever nonsense game I'm making a trophy guide about for you. Alright, next up we've got the Final Fantasy X and X2 HD Remaster for 10 bucks. I'm not entirely sure why, but I own three copies of this game across PS3, PS4, and PC, and haven't played any of them a single time. I think a lot of you have at least played Final Fantasy X and have opinions on X too, but hear me out. Give it a chance. Seriously, I played it on an emulator as an adult rather than playing the copies I own and had a blast with it. Trophy-wise, they're both definitely JRPGs, around a 5 or 6 out of 10 and between 110 to 130 hours each, but that's pretty par for the course for games like these. Next up, we've got Resident Evil Village for 16 bucks. Listen, I know what you're looking to see in this game, and I won't judge you for it, so if you haven't played it and want to give it a shot, now's the time to do it. Trophy-wise, it's really not all that bad. You're looking at around a 6 for difficulty and only 25-ish hours to finish, so very doable. Just do me a favor and say hi to her for me, alright? She hasn't returned my calls. Next up, we've got Persona 5 Royal Ultimate Edition for 24 bucks. This is Persona 5 Royal Edition with a ton of the DLC added, so that should fulfill all your costume and BGM needs. This game is a dream for trophy hunters who like these kinds of games. It's just a 2 for difficulty with 120 hours to finish, so it's a long one, but it cuts out the ridiculously annoying grindy trophies from the original game, the ones that kept me from finishing the Platinum. So I definitely recommend it. Let me know in the comments who your favorite relationship choice was. I'm Futaba for life. Chie is still my main though. Fight me. Next up, we've got Dying Light Definitive Edition for 10 bucks. If you love Dead Island and Riptide, i definitely give this one a shot. It's zombie survival parkour, and it's super fun flying around the Middle Eastern city it's set in. Trophy-wise, it's pretty middle of the road, and there's a few multiplayer trophies that you'll have to deal with, so that's a bummer. You're looking at around a 5-ish for difficulty and 50 or so hours to finish. 
Next up, we've got Assassin's Creed Origins Gold Edition and Assassin's Creed Odyssey for $15 and $12, respectively. These are the first two games that Ubisoft released for Assassin's Creed after changing the style of these games and how long they were taking between releases, and it definitely shows. I've got the Platinum in both, and they're genuinely fun to go for. Definitely time-consuming, but not super difficult, both around 3 for difficulty and 50 to 70 hours each between the two games. Next up, we've got Yakuza 6, The Song of Life, for just 5 bucks. I actually went out and got this plat, since it didn't require the entire 100% collection list like the other games. So you're only looking at like a 3 for difficulty and 40-ish hours to finish everything. These games are very story dependent, so if you're going to get this one, either watch video synopsis of the previous games or just get them since they're all on sale right now and play through them. This uses the newer engine, so it's a much more modern feel than the older games, and it's a definite recommend from me. Finally, I'm going to close this one out with the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy for 16 bucks. This comes with the original Crash, Crash 2, and Crash Warped, all remastered for PS4. If you played these growing up, you know that there's definitely a difficulty curve to it. Warped is definitely the easiest of the three, with the first and second game at around a 7 and 6 for difficulty respectively. And to finish off all three, you're probably looking at around 50-ish hours of gameplay. Alright, that'll do it for me though, everybody. There's 10 different games on sale right now for the lowest price they've ever been until June 19th, and I'm going to leave a link down below for a list of all the games that are on sale for the lowest price they've ever been, as there's more than just the ones I've listed in this video. If you plan on getting some, or all, or none of these games, or if you already have them all and now wish you had waited for this sale like me, let me know in the comments, like, and subscribe for more trophy hunting content.